everybody. Welcome my overview of the British Battlecruisers in Early Access. In this video, we're going to go over the Tiger, the Renown, the Rook, and the Hawk, as well as the new Battlecruiser Commander, John Fisher. All right, so with that, let's check into the patch notes and see what they say about the new British Battlecruisers. And basically, the four new ships sport high speed, mighty guns, and all new turning torpedoes. And that is the thing that I am really interested in, is, is the turning torpedoes. And all the battleships here have four torpedoes, uh, two single launchers on each side. Some ships have them, one in the front and one in the back, which I think the Tiger does, and probably the Renown once you get up higher here you have both launchers in the same spot as what it looks like when you're out in battle and uh, yeah we can check that out in a bit but the thing to keep in mind is they are only single fire torpedoes so you're not going to get a salvo of like three or four torpedoes it's only going to be one single torpedo and what i noticed in the tiger which was the first ship that i took out there were some torpedoes that i had launched had a red team ship i didn't think i was going to get a hit next thing i know the torpedo turned and magically got the hit but i saw no way to adjust anything like that there's no instruction manual here uh, that explain exactly what the turning torpedoes are or basically what they do i did read that uh, once you launch the torpedoes they have one second after launch to make an adjustment and maybe that's what it was so with that, let's get into the commander and the ship setups, um, or the ship specs, basically an overview of all four ships. First, we will check out John Fisher. And I have him almost ranked out. I am two universal commendations away from maxing him out, so I haven't been able to do that yet, but his base trait is Furious Temper, which improves the battleship's main battery reload time and for the inspirations, I went with Andrew Cunningham and Robert Jujard. Cunningham is for the improved uh, main battery shell grouping with concentrated devastation. And then Borer with Robert Jujard improves the battleship's armor piercing shell penetration multiplier. So this is to try to get some devastating results when I do get a hit. If anyone has any better ideas for inspirations here, go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below. As far as skills, uh, flammable cannon air was it. Improves the battleship main battery range and shell grouping, but you do take a risk of catching fire. Here, I did not want to go with gyrating drill bits because these battle cruisers are all about speed, and I didn't want to take a hit on the maximum battleship speed, so I was stuck with a dance with death, which improves the torpedo launcher and main and secondary battery reload time per 1% HP loss. So if you can keep track of that, let me know what you think that means down in the comments below and main battery traverse speed per 1% HP loss. So I think as your battleship gets damaged, the more it gets damaged, the better this performance is, which uh, yeah, I guess it is a dance with death. And uh, yeah, this is one unique skill. Another unique skill here is reformer, which improves the battleship main battery range, torpedo range, and dispersion. But you do take a hit on the maximum HP of the ship. And here I went with Master Mechanic. And generally, when you have a choice between any of these, Master Mechanic is basically it. Repair party cooldown time is improved, as is the HP recovered. And you do get two more repair party charges once you rank up to legendary rank 3. Or I think maybe uh, rank 16 will do it as well. And then here, this is a unique legendary skill. Speed is my armor. And what happens here is the engine boost cooldown time is improved as is the maximum battleship speed and the incoming damage from shells, torpedoes, and bombs to your battleship while the engine boost is active is all improved. And you do get an extra engine boost uh, charge here. And this is only active when the engine boost is active is what I found so the only time the legendary skill is activated is when you hit the engine boost uh, it doesn't really specify that here but that is basically what was going on uh, during some matches that I have played 
Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is the traverse speed of the main guns is really suspect on all of the British battle cruisers, and therefore I have main battery mod two installed on all of the first slots of all of the British battle cruisers, and uh, it improves the main battery traverse speed by 20%. And even at that, the renown here is still 37 second and a half traverse speed of the main guns, which is really uh, not all that great. Turns out the Rook and the Hawk both have a 25 second traverse speed once you have the commander set up and all of the upgrades. And yeah, you can see that right there. As far as the torpedoes go on all of these ships, uh, let's look at the torpedoes. You have four launchers of one torpedo each, so it's four single fire torpedo launchers and that is basically what you have here the hawk has a 68 second reload speed of those torpedoes with a eight and a half kilometer range 61 knot speed uh almost 16,000 damage and this is by far the best specs uh, of all the british battle cruisers and that is because i selected in the fourth upgrade slot i took a chance on torpedoes launchers mod three and yeah uh, the tier seven is the only one that has that the other british battle cruisers all have right around 90 second reload time of their main launchers but all the ships all the battle cruisers have four single fire launchers and they do have the uh, turning torpedoes so as i said if you can figure out um how that's used or exactly what that is. Um, I did hear that one second after launch is when they make their adjustments. So the other thing everyone wants to keep in mind with the British battle cruisers here is the armor scheme on all the ships. And that's the last thing we'll look at. Here is a Tiger and this does not look great. Well, I guess it looks great for tier four, but let's remove all of the outside armor. And this definitely does not look great right here. You will definitely get taken out going broadside or maybe even not broadside. But if you're out in the open, uh, look out. It is tier four, so you might be able to survive a little bit. Let's go to the Renown. And I guess this looks a little better. Let's check out the uh, Citadel. And yeah, you've got a little bit of turtle back going here. But, uh, yeah, check that out. That is um, probably not that great if you're going up against a, a battleship. And, yeah, you just want to watch it. The um, armor scheme on all the British battle cruisers are definitely suspect. And you can get removed pretty darn quick. Ooh, look at this. This is a lot of blue right here. 15 to 16 millimeter armor on the tier 6 rook in the front and the back. And the uh, Citadel is uh, also glorified with 15 to 16 millimeter armor on top. And this is definitely, um, yeah, this is not looking that great right here uh, for the Rook. So you want to keep the armor scheme in mind. These are not battleships and they have light armor to try to get some better speed. And that was how they did it. So. The idea is the battle cruisers would be able to engage other cruisers, overpower them with their guns, and have the speed to maneuver away. If they ran into a battleship, that would probably be a little bit of a problem. And the armor scheme here, I guess, isn't doesn't really look all that bad for Tier 7, though it might not be that great, because in the front you do have the 25 and 26 millimeter armor. So if you go up against another battleship, that is going to be a bad deal. Let's remove the armor and check out the Citadel. Uh, looks like you have a massive turtle back here and it's so massive, sticking so far out of the water that, uh, yeah, you are gonna be in trouble. I've heard some really bad stories about the Hawk getting taken out in two successive salvos with like seven Citadel hits. The, um, the red team player reported that uh, or the blue team player reported that he did to a Red Hawk. So um, watch it if you're in one of these battle cruisers, even a tier seven here, 
with this, uh, what seems like an okay citadel, but it is so far above the water, you are gonna be in trouble. And that is basically it for my review of the British battle cruisers here in the Northern Sentinel campaign. Go ahead and let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it. Battleship sunk.